Hey guys, Dano921 here. Welcome back to episode 11 of my modded survival let's play. Um, last episode we did the auto crafting and I'm lagging a little bit. Not sure why, but hopefully it'll go away. Um, yeah, last episode we did some auto crafting. Uh, got the assembler up, got the crafting CP up. Um, got a couple of patterns, nothing too major, uh, I don't think, I haven't added any patterns, but we have an inventory full of stuff, it's just insane, so I'm putting all the stuff that I can't smelt in there, also did you see our diamonds, 47 diamonds, that's a lot of diamonds, um, as you can see I've moved this room, now something about this room, is a little cool and I'm gonna show you that now also just gold I think gold is broken I mean just seriously um, but as you can see we have the ME system coming in here and we don't have any of these energy conduits coming in now what this is for is let me just get my stuff back I'm using something called the P2P network. Now, I don't think I've ever actually used these in my series before. Um, yeah, I just want to sort this out because it's messy as hell. Right, um, so basically a P2P network, it's, it's here. Um, pretty much all it does is this will connect to pretty much whatever you tell it to um, so currently I've got this connected to wires and to set it up to connect to these sort of wires you need to either click it with thermal expansion or the ender IO stuff but obviously we don't have thermal expansion conduits so it's just the ender IO ones so you just like, right click with the um, cable in your hand and it will connect to RF power uh, there are different ones, uh, if I've still got it up, yep. You can do ME tunnel, which is uh, just the ME cable. Uh, you can do redstone, which is redstone dust, repeaters or comparators. RF, which is ender IO and extra utilities. Uh, MJ, which is the ME controller, ME chest and buildcraft power pipes. Uh, we've got an EU tunnel, so that's just any IC2 cable. Um, the item, du uh, item tunnel, which is ME chest, hopper, bellcraft item pipes, ME interface, ME export, and ME import. These are all things that it'll work on. But I, if you click on it with the item, it should work. Uh, fluid is buckets, any liquid containers, BC liquid pipes. Uh, and you can actually do light tunnels, which are torch and glowstone blocks, which I'm not sure what they're for. So that's something. Uh, but yeah, I've pretty much just got this um, P2P bus here and I've got it over here. Now, what you have to do to connect these is you... What is with this lag? Seriously. I think it might be the machines, to be honest. Um, you simply shift, right click. You will save the settings of this. So this is currently receiving power from there. So it'll save that setting and then you left click on this and as you see it loaded the settings and then this will then output that power. So pretty much what this uh, system is, you can have one P2P inputting into anything but you can only have one. However you can have as many things taking that as you want. So if I put this P2P tunnel on say the energy port all the energy from that um, reactor would then be going into the p2p network which yeah so what i'll probably do is have two react uh, two energy ports one for the p uh, me system and one for the p2p because then well you've got pretty much complete power through just that one um, now I'm not sure how much it transfers, I think it will just transfer as much as you want. Um, the only thing I can see is power usage which is 0.5 units per tick per tunnel. 
um, an additional 5% tax on input. So you are losing a bit of power by doing this, but you know, it's, it's really not a problem with this. So yeah, that's P2P tunnels. They are pretty damn awesome. And I will probably end up using them a lot more. Um, also, there's something I wanted to show you, which is the saw. Uh, I believe I have done this before, but, you know, just wanted to show it off. So I need some of those. So, boom. And we've got our diamond saw. So, what you can do with this is you go ahead, put that in there, get some... Uh, yeah, let's use stone. Boom. Boom. Right, why is that not working? Oh, is it because... Right, what? Why is it in my inventory? Okay, so that goes into my inventory. That's not good. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Is this a crafting terminal up here? Yes, thank you. So, yeah, you can turn these into covers. Boom. And then, these covers should, should be able to boop and sit completely flush. So, that completely covers the wires. Right? There we go. Um, so yeah, this completely covers all of the wires up, which is really nice. So I'll probably use that, and I'll probably like, tidy this up a bit more off camera. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be where my eventual machine room is going to be, but for now I just thought I'd put it here. It's out of the way, and this looks quite neat. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to sort of get this working a bit better. Now for that, um, I'm going to need an open crate and for that I'm going to need some living wood planks. Now I don't actually know where to get living wood from. I mean just put some stuff away that I won't need for this. So yeah I don't know where to get living wood from. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it before. Uh, yeah. So, actually, I shall be right back. I'm going to go look it up. Okay, so I'm a complete idiot. Um, for starters, my Minecraft started to clone up, so I had to completely exit out, run a uh, scan thing, cleared up my computer, cleared up all the shit. Uh, as you can see, this is all done now. Also, did you know that you can't get... Um, rotten flesh from redstone furnace anymore uh, leather yeah um so yeah i'm a complete idiot i should have noticed that living wood was from batania so i need to make a Bat batania book and start getting into it um which i've never actually even attempted this mod i don't know what i'm doing with this so this could be fun um yeah so that's pretty much all i know um so let's go ahead and hmm. whoa so this is pretty damn cool um basics and mechanics um i don't want any of that i want to find living wood because i don't know how to make it. Um, yeah, I'm just having a quick look in. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I honestly don't know how to uh, do this. I think the first thing I need to do is... Hold on a minute. I think the first thing I need to do is make a flower. Pure daisy is not only the most basic but also the most important flower. Um, purify any adjacent wood and stone blocks. There we go. Uh, making living wood and living rock. 
which can be used for crafting. So, I need a pure daisy. Um, I need a flower apothecary. Um, petal apothecary. Uh, in order for the petalonius to grow plant life that can do its bidding, one would need specific, special means of infusing plants. Uh, petal apothecary. So, how do we make it? Um, cobblestone, slabs, and any mystical flower. Okay. So, the way you get a mystical flower is you just take one of these, that's the one I've got the most, and you get two. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I will probably have to go searching, but for now it's fine. So, I need some slabs. Boom. Let's make those. For some reason, that didn't go in. And that. No, how do I make it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it needs to go like that. There we go. Petal apothecary. Now, I do need to use this upstairs because well, flowers are all about outside. And let's do it out here. Now, where do we want it? I um, suppose we could put it round the back here. Yeah, why not? Let's put it there. So, I think we need to fill this with water, first of all. So, let's go grab some water. Boom. And then we need to figure out how we make... Yep. So, how do we make the... Uh, pure daisy. We need uh, four mystical white petals. Now, hopefully, we've got enough to do that, but if we don't, I'm going to have to go searching. We do. Perfect. Boom, boom. I also moved the crafting terminal that was up here downstairs because it's just easier. So, how do we do it? Uh, duh, duh, duh. Oops. Um, I think we just put them in. we need vanilla seed. Uh, I do have the wiki open on my other monitor just to make sure I'm doing this right. So we should have a lot of seeds. Yeah because I've never used this mod before I'm just using the wiki to make sure that I'm doing it properly. So does this need... I don't know if this needs any um, um, I don't know if it needs like power mana but um, so we've got eight of these so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck this down and hopefully it will work so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I don't know how long this takes, but it looks, as you can see, you can see particles, so it looks like it is working. But I don't know how long that's going to take. So, we can't actually get into the crate dropper that we wanted to do this episode, but um, we need some more of these. What are This platform really does my head in because it doesn't work properly. Uh, crystal growth accelerator. So we need. What do we need? That's actually quite easy. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. That's that. And then we just need these. So. 
so by the looks of it we can make two for now but th that should be enough um, then we need some ME cables now I'm going to run this underneath because I was already cable there and let's pick this one up because then we can put that there that will connect to that uh, we can pick that up now because that's not being used. Um, we need to do, 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 place that down. We need to place that down. And then obviously we need to run this cable there. We can put these back now. Boom. And I might as well put this cover over here. So we've got three of these now and they're all being powered. So things should go up quite quickly. Now the one thing that we need is an item transfer node, which is that one. So how do we make that? We've got everything apart from the redstone block, which is fairly easy to do also having two monitors is very very useful for doing stuff so we've got that and we need the other transfer nodes so I now need to I'm gonna do this you know what I'm gonna pick up this bucket of uh, pick up this water for a sec hello uh, right platform just because it's easier to do stuff so where do I need it I need that there for a moment so I can do that and then I need this to go into something I suppose hmm I don't know how I'm gonna get that to go into something also does this pick stuff up no Okay, so I will need the world interaction upgrade. Um, I'll be right back once I've sorted this out, figured out how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I've decided to go um, the transfer node into a chest, into a ME export bus, into the system. Hopefully this will work. Um, it does look a bit messy at the minute, but you know. So I need a world interaction upgrade. World Ooh, can't do it. Damn. What if I take this off? And this. And this. No, they don't count as blocks. Um. Yeah, the reason this is happening is because I'm using up too many channels. So my AE system is just like... No, what are you doing? There's too much going on. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Damn it. That means that I'm going to have to upgrade my system. Which I can't do because bloody... Blah. Okay. So the system should actually be back on now. Yeah. So, oh, controller. Uh, where are you? Let me control that. So I need that. I've got everything apart from the um, engineering press. I think that's what I need. engineering press and the silicon press uh, the reason I'm not um, just skipping this bit is because this is something that I haven't actually done before so I kind of want you guys to see what it's all about because I'm gonna make it pretty soon anyway um, right so that that and that right slight interruption there but uh, yeah I decided to go out and get some wool um, main reason, 
I want some covered cables. Uh, what do I want? want covered cables? Well, if you combine them with redstone and glowstone, you will get ME smart cables. Now, these are cables that can handle uh, how many channels? They, they can handle more channels. I think it's. I think it can handle eight. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I did make the uh, processor and we have our ME controller. Um, now, I do want to set this up a little bit differently. So I'm going to have to pick this up, this up, this up, this up, these up, and all of this up. So I want the MG acceptor. Um, where do I want it? Let's put it over here. And then I want that going into the controller. So now that's getting powered. And above that, I want the... Hmm. Yeah, let's put it like that. And I want my screens on here. Go away. I want that one. I want the screens on there. And then... Um, hmm. No, I can't really do that, can I? Uh, um, actually, I can. So I've got all that connected to there, which should actually, there we go, it is using, I just need to use human. It should tell me how much it's using. It's using three of eight channels. So, yeah, that's using some channels. Now, if I put that there, I'm wondering if this would work. I don't think it would. Hmm. Don't think I can have that there. And how far did that go? Okay. Um, what about uh, having my controller? In the middle of the room, like I don't know, right there. Then obviously I need my MG acceptor next to it, and I need the power. Damn it! I need power running to it, don't I? But then I can have this side like that. Yeah, I need to get my conduits out, don't I? Damn it. Professional. Um, right. Get my conduits out, and now we can dismantle this. Right. Uh, conduits, conduits, conduits. There they are. Now, would that work without the energy acceptor? It does. So I don't need that at all. Okay, that's good to know. And I think I'm going to have this going in the bottom. Um, like that. Is that because of... No, could it? Could be. It might be going into the P2P and f feeding the network. Possibly. Because that hasn't gone off yet. No, I'm not in that form. Oh, no. Okay, so it is the cables. So we can have that feeding that over there. And I was going to run the cable down here, but 
as you can see I couldn't because we ran out of channels so what if I had it running from this down here like that because these are going to be the um, that's going to be where I put my automated stuff and damn it have I run out of cables? looks like I have so it looks like I might need to make some more what a shame what a shame I actually I suppose for now I can just pick these up for demonstration purposes And use these yeah that works so I need to have the do, 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 where are they like that still over here that's where they are and I'm running out of inventory space let's just put those in there for now all right boom 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 so I need these over here attached to these like that now eventually I'll have four but for now I don't really need four so I need to go and break this down because we don't need this here anymore because we're not going to be using it which means we don't need that there and we don't need god damn it this is why I use bat form so much, but you can't tell what you're looking at half the time. So we've done that. So now I'm, I need to go into bat form. God damn it. No, come on, bat form, there we go. So I need the transfer node. I'm going to need some cobblestone to put in there. So we would have, where is it, there it is, we'll have the transfer node there, I think, yeah, that seems right, um, then we need the chest underneath that, which can go there, and then we need the export bus, which can go there. And then all we need to do is hook this up with that. And then that should be all that done underneath. Um, so these are all working. All we need to do now. Oh no, that's wrong, isn't it? Hmm, damn it. I did it wrong. I figured I might have. Because there, was, there wasn't enough room. That was my fault. Um, again, remember, I've never really done anything like this before. So, chest. There. Then we want the cable and the export bus. There. Uh, export bus, there we go. So that's better. Right, so now we've got all that. Uh, we can put covers on this to make it look a bit nicer. So we've got that. Now, now we need the world interaction upgrade. But we don't have a system currently. So we can actually go ahead and put the system back in over here. Actually... Let's take that off and put it there. That should hopefully power everything. Um, put them in my bag, didn't I? My inventory is so messy. Boom, 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 boom. Then we need our cable. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so now we need to make a world interaction upgrade. 
which is actually really damn easy and I hope this is the right one at least so we, if we put this in here we should if we chuck an item on it picks it up puts it in the chest and puts it in the system so let's just test that we don't have any cables in the system currently so let's chuck those down and that should have gone into the system where are they stopping in the chest Did I put the wrong... Export... Yeah, I need an import bus, not an export bus. Damn it. Right, I'll be right back again. Okay, that was actually simpler than I thought, because I did actually have the stuff I needed. Luckily. So let's try this again, shall we? Where's our little hole? Get rid of that. Put the import bus on there. Now if some, we know that it falls in and it gets taken out. Perfect. Right. So that's that sorted. So let's get up, uh, get our little crafting system all set up again. Um, we want that there, and we want that there. Put the interface on. Put all the patterns in. And we need some cable. Now this should be powered, I believe. Well, we've got 22 now. No. Wait, what? No crafting CPUs of that. We ran out of power, didn't we? <laughs> no. I was like, what the hell? Why why isn't this working? There we go, craft 426. Right, that's working perfect. Uh, we don't really need to set anything else up, but I would like this set up. So we can actually just put that there. Boom. Done. So that's all set up. Nice. Uh, so let's go check out if we've got our living wood yet. I don't know oh we do so it doesn't take as long as I thought it would which is nice now I'm not sure how much of this stuff I need All right. um, open crate living wood planks can we just put that in there yes sweet so the hell so, oh, that's grown as well. That's on um, 43%. Nice. Boom. So everything's coming together. So if we get seven of these like that, open crate, pretty much all we need to do is put this above here. And I'm going to get some glass. Just use this glass because why not? Oh, that breaks. Nice. So, in theory, if we. Hmm. I need another ME interface, so I'll be right back. Right. So, um, one thing that I don't. I, uh, I can't stress enough is this is all temporary it's not um, it's not final and I can't stress that enough so choo -choo -choo. we need to get this into here and we've run out of cables And we've run out of fl 
fluix dust. Okay, so I need some more nether quartz as well. Um, what I'll do, I'll end the episode here. Next episode, we'll come back, we'll finish this off, and hopefully get it all running. Because um, I, I do want to show you guys what this is about. You know what? I decided I don't want to leave it there. So, I've made enough cable to get this connected, and I thought, screw it. So, hopefully, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to need some stuff first. Right. Um, I need some crafting recipes. Okay. So I need quartz dust and sand. That will make the quartz seed. So let's go ahead and put that into here. And let's craft some seed and let's see if it works. Boom! Quartz seed. Right, so then I want to go into this and say that one quartz seed turns into one like what? Why can't I? Okay. Oh, I think that's just custom recipes. So one quartz seed turns into one quartz, uh, one crystal. So hopefully, um, let's put this glass back. Let's take out all the quartz crystals and say craft one. So why didn't that put it in there? Or either it didn't or it did and I just don't know. Um okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got a feeling what happened. So, pretty much, I think the world item uh, upgrade made it so that it just picked it up instantly. So, I need to add this into here with item upgrades for both, uh, with filters for both of these. So, now, if I go ahead and craft one, took it there we go it's dropped it in so that will eventually uh, turn into the pure quartz crystal and the item duct will instantly take it out so yeah that is great setup and that's these are the things that I like where you can use one mod with another and it just makes perfect synergy like I mean Britannia is a mod about flowers and ME uh, applied logistics is about a storage system in a storage network 
So you never would have thought they would have worked together, but they do. And it's pretty damn cool. And hopefully with three of these, this should, I mean, it's, it's already on 22%, so, you know, it's really not going to take too long. Now, the, I think the only problem is, um, yeah, when that's actually happening, you can't use the crafting CPU because it's still trying to craft it, which kind of sucks, but you can cancel it. So, ideally, you're going to need a couple of those crafting CPUs, or a couple of different ones, because otherwise, this is just that's going to just take forever and it'll hold the system up. But yeah, so we've got our nice little automated system. I do need to add a couple of things like nether quartz and stuff like that, and I need to add things to these to say, yeah, this is how you make it and stuff like that. But um, yeah, for now, I think that's going to be it. So I want to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.